learn about this occasion and we have to say thank you for our parents, thank you for our teacher and the administration's office that we have here at the contest of the spelling bee, science first grade to sixth grade, and we have the jury for other schools. The students participate and they enjoy the contest. Thank you for all. Uh, the experience was good. Um, it was hard when uh, the third grade was going foot to foot with the words and they were getting it right. And one just did not get it because she may put an extra letter in. And that was kind of hard <laughs> to watch. But the experience was really good. I enjoyed it. And yeah, I really liked it. It was, it was really good. The students were like a, very prepared, very organized, and I like it. the Spelling Bee winners. Now you're going to give it an applause for all of them. Woo! Third grade, we are the winner. Remember that all of us, we are the winners. Thank you for coming, for your applause. On memory, take my picture now. Take it till you see it, and when your fantasies become your legacy, promise me a place in your house of memories and build their houses. The first little pig built himself a house of a straw. The middle brother decided to build himself a house of a stick. It, wa it wasn't a strong house. The oldest brother decided to build his house out of bricks because he wanted a strong house. He knew there is a wolf that lives in the forest and likes to eat pigs. When the three houses were finished, they sang and danced happily. So this morning, I'm here to give a certificate of participation or to the winners of our uh, yesterday speech contest. So uh, to Emma Iriarte, give her an applause, please. We have a certificate to the winner, to Christopher Sima, the certificate, and a gift. Give him an applause, please. To continue, we have a certificate and a gift to Chloe Blasco. Give her an applause, please. And we have a certificate to the winner, to Paola Richardson. Give them an applause, please. Thank you. OK, guys, thank you for your participation and for your excellent presentation yesterday. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Emma Iriarte, and today I'm going to talk to you about the story of the Beast. As we all know, The Beauty and the Beast is a story about a young girl named Belle that lived in a town in France with her dad. 
One day, Belle's dad got kidnapped by the beast. In the rush to save her dad, Belle decided to sacrifice her freedom for her dad. It, as the time kept passing, Belle realized that the beast wasn't that bad at all. And in the end, they end up falling in love. I was listening to the ocean. I saw face inside when I picked it up on the vanish away from my hands. Duh. I have a dream of a seven, clean by my way in tree. I saw peace of heaven, what are you tasting for me? Duh. And I was running far away, but loud enough to warm someday. Nobody knows, nobody knows. And I was dancing in the rain, I felt the love I can't complain, but no, take me home. Crazy, think about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe, but look at where I ended up. I am good already, so move on, it's scary I know where you left me at So, if you don't wanna see me dancing with somebody If you wanna believe that anything could stop me I hate you for what you did And I miss you like a little kid I faked it every time, but that's alright I can hardly feel anything, I hardly feel anything at all You gave me fifteen hundred to see your hypnotherapist I only went one time Times a year ago was hoping you could let it go and you did I have emotional motion sickness Somebody rolled I asked to myself what is my favorite superhero? And then I think Superman It will be amazing to have the power of fly or Hulk It will be amazing and incredible to have the power of a strange over human. Or why not? Flash. It will be incredible to have the power of run faster than a light. And has the ability to do them in a way that a normal person couldn't. Superheroes typically uses his or her powers to help the world become a better place, fighting the crime and protecting the public. Superheroes come from a wide array of different backgrounds and origins. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sofia Rodriguez. Let's celebrate the English Week 2022. Superheroes, virtues, and values. Today, I'm going to have the pleasure to talk about an awesome superhero who I really admire, Black Panther. When we talk about Black Panther, or... This thing on. Hi. My name is Stephen Grant. <coughs> and the voice in my head is called Mark. He won't shut up. Mark Spector, Stephen Grant, and Jake Lockley. All these three entities combine into one singular person, one singular Egyptian superhero who saves the world constantly in the most gruesome ways. The Moon Knight. But let's backtrack a bit, shall we? Let's go back to Cairo, an archaeological excavation site gone wrong, in which Mark Spector, renowned mercenary, ends up mortally wounded after his partner, Raoul Bushman, betrayed him and took all the money from the heist. Mortally wounded, distressed, and nowhere to go, Mark slowly accepts his faith until he ends up discovering the temple of the moon god Khonshu, in which he is offered a deal. What is this deal, you may ask? 
Well, it's very simple. In return for protecting the travelers of the night and being Khonshu's own fist of justice, Mark gains a second chance at life. A second chance with superpowers, with weapons, and with an incredible suit. And this way, he becomes the Moon Knight. A mercenary revived, now looking for justice for those who do evil. But Mark isn't alone in this adventure. Quite the contrary. He has a multiple personality disorder, which is pretty weird, but it's cool. And this way, he invents two other characters. The first one being me, Stephen Grant. Hi, I'm Stephen. Anyway, Stephen Grant takes up the personality of Mr. Knight, which, instead of using the normal conscious ceremonial robes, he uses a tuxedo, just like the one that I'm wearing right now. Anyway, the fact is that Stephen represents the millionaire side of Mark because he's a mercenary, he has a lot of money, duh. Anyway, the fact is that he is more elegant, a little bit more negotiating, and a little bit more straightforward and relaxed, contrary to Mark, who is incredibly aggressive and precise. But what about the third one? What about Jake Lockley? <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. Anyway, Jake Lockley. Mark's third personality who comes out when Steven and Mark can't do the gruesome work. He is an incredibly violent, incredibly strong, and an individual who has no limits. He is the true fist of justice from Khonshu for the fact that he will literally burn down an entire building if it was necessary. He's an individual who is excessively aggressive, precise, and he especially comes out when Mark and Steven black out or are in incredible trouble. Now, personally, I believe that Moon Knight is one of the greatest superheroes because of his different powers and because of the message that he sends out that anybody can have a second chance. And also, personally, my favorite edition of the comics is when he steals the powers from heroes such as Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, and finally, Ghost Rider. In all of these, he uses these powers stored in some magical angst which are the ones that I have here. Now, sadly, they're not real angst, but there wasn't any, you know. Anyway, he uses these powers to, for his endless crusade against the devil himself, but also to bludgeon Thor. And you still don't know what it's made of. All you know is that it's made up of unbreakable food. But what is Uru, you may ask? You may have been told that Uru is the last of what we meant the original people of creation. And all this is true. Uru is all that remains from the first orb of the night. In other words, your hammer. Before a God. Now, my humble one, I call upon all the moons from far and wide, from as far as the eye of Agamotto can see, all for this one singular purpose. For I am Mark Spector, the Moon Knight, and I have felled a God today. My name is Stephen Grant. I am the Moon Knight, and I have felled many friends today. My name is Jake Lockley. I am Mr. Knight, and I have done this all for a very good reason. For I am the Moon Knight, Earth's mightiest hero, and his last hope against the devil himself. <laughs> <laughs>